The Cuban and MPLA forces outgunned the South Africans. They were shot away badly. Now I just saw these lorries with blood dripping out of it. And it, was, it wasn't very nice. To, and then to go and investigate, and for the first time to see they're actually your own troops. Uh, it wasn't very nice at all. They left everything on the field. Men, vehicles, weapons. It was a great victory over the South Africans. South African and American hopes of a quick victory over the MPLA were crushed. Washington was running out of options. Right after Vietnam, the American people in no way, and the Congress and the media, would put up with the US putting its forces in to, to control the outcome of a country that none of us, none of the American people were interested in. The administration fell back on the CIA. It secretly provided money for Roberto and Savimbi to recruit mercenaries from Africa, America, and Europe. did kill when we had no particular reason to. Um, we tortured to achieve information that they probably didn't have, and this was not captured enemy soldiers. These were probably just local civilians. And that atmosphere permeated its way through the whole unit. We were just a loose band of bandits with a very dangerous leader and a few associates. Among the mercenaries, there were some very fine soldiers. Callan, for instance. I've seldom seen such a good soldier. He had phenomenal courage. He was a psychopath a raving psychopath, and a couple of men right near him were psychopaths. Thirteen mercenaries were captured by the MPLA and put on trial. Callan and three others were executed. The CIA was still active.